don't make any changes for this afternoon's game, what's the thinking behind that? The thinking is to reward the players who executed a game plan for 60 minutes really well um, and I want to make sure that we get a bit of continuity and we keep on reinforcing the things that we're great at so they've got an opportunity again to go and state their claim for the new manager and actually to advance us into the next round of the cup. How important is that continuity because it's maybe something that has been missing at stages this season? I, I think it's been circumstantial as well because we've, we've moved people around because of injuries, because of suspensions but we have to make sure that people know what we're trying to achieve and know the purpose with and without the ball. And I think the team on uh, Wednesday got it for 90% of the game. And how are you dealing with those who aren't getting in the squad who are still very good footballers? It's difficult, that's the hardest part about football because you only ever have 11 happy footballers. You know, it's the ones who start, everyone else thinks they should start, everyone can give you a logical, cogent, reasoned argument why they should start. And I've got no doubt loads of fans think their favourite players should start and that's fine. But we have to make sure that the players actually add value regardless of what their assets are and what their attributes are, they need to add value to the team when that particular asset or attribute isn't applicable. So what I'm saying to the players who aren't in the team is, what can you do more to go and take their shirt away from them and convince us that you need to start? Wednesday night was a little bit like a cup tie. How much would you like to replicate that? No, no, I'd like to replicate the first 60 minutes uh, and put the game to bed and then be better without the ball. If we can do that, if we can uh, ally our qualities with the ball, with a, with a steely determination not to concede easy goals, then I think that the club and the team will have made very, very significant strides. And how important is a semi-final and potentially a final to this club this season? Well, that's what the players set out to do. The players set out when we sat down and had a chat when I first came in was we want to get second, we want to get to the cup final, we want to win it if possible um, and this is merely a step on that path but we need to make sure we focus on, on this step with our full intensity. We can't afford to look at next week, we can't afford to look at a semi-final potentially, we need to make sure we take care of business today. What are you expecting from Hamilton? They had a good win in midweek. I'm expecting a, a bit of confidence from them, I'm expecting a steely resilience, I'm expecting things that can damage our team if we don't take care of the football but if I'm honest, I've got to concentrate on us and what we do well. We've got to make sure that we shift the ball quickly and we've got to make sure we make them un as uncomfortable as possible for the 90 minutes. Uh, and if we do that, then I'm sure we can go and take a good result.